What's up gamers? How the heck are you? Grounded might be in trouble. March is here and the 15th is right around the corner. Velheim will be coming to consoles. So in case you guys didn't know, Velheim is an open world sandbox survival game based in kind of a purgatory Viking style aesthetics and it looks amazing. You got building, you got combat you got exploration you got upgrades you got all you it looks incredible looks super fun i've seen a lot of gameplay of it and it i'm excited for it i think i think it's going to be a great addition to consoles and I, I i i love it when survival games come over to consoles it seems to me a lot of that stuff kind of stays on pc and it's super frustrating but i love when we get cool survival games and it's going to give grounded a run for its money for sure grounded's got to do something so let's go over some thoughts some things that grounded can do to make it, I don't know, a list, little bit more viable to try to try to hang on. Number one thing Grounded can do, and this is just a no-brainer, it can announce some sort of expansion at DLC. I'm not going to say it has to go to a full-on DLC, but it could do some sort of expansion. And just announcing it will keep it relevant, but not even necessarily gi giving it out yet. I mean, if Grounded sticks with its whole three-ish month update, could look maybe sometime in april to get another update but they haven't really announced anything or said anything they've been very hush hush right now and we can just say that maybe they're just working on back end stuff and nothing crazy and maybe we're not going to get a good update anytime soon it's not that that's a bad thing it's just you kind of lose relevancy after a while so you have to be prepared for that in order to come back kind of with a big bang so if they hold off for a while let let Velheim run its course let even small land if it ends up coming out of nowhere and run its course maybe they can come out with maybe mid-year or even announce that something the big is going to huge is coming by the end of the year that keeps it relevant if this game is meant to be full release one off one and done you know maybe do a grounded two down the road that's fine let it run its course let it be let it be the game that it is it's super fun it's just once you're kind of done with everything there's not much left to do you know there's only a couple bosses you can even go back and refight and that's gets bored after a while trust me i've done it i mean it, an expansion would keep it relevant you know not that they would do this but adding pvp style things yeah you can turn on friendly fire but a real pvp style would be something that could could make it more relevant um just because those games tend to do really well if you look at games like rust arc they have longevity because people create these massive worlds where they basically dominate that world and they constantly get on their servers to ensure that their bases and stuff of that are still going and still dominating things like that those are things that keep games kind of relevant is is those things is like is your ability to get on and have a reason to continuously get on but there's not a reason to continuously get on grounded you can't get attacked if your game isn't on you know what i'm saying so having that kind of ability might might be something that you know could create some sort of longevity for it. another thing that they could possibly do maybe not full-on expansions but accessing a smaller dungeon off somewhere that you know just it can pop up nobody cares it doesn't have to be like wait that wasn't there before because we don't really care but having some kind of bug or creature that we've never seen before then that's how you get the new armor that you are giving us not just giving us new armor or not just creating new armor from an existing bug but giving us a whole new enemy to fight much like the mantis fight and that's not to say that there isn't there are not a lot of bosses in the game because there are base style bosses somewhat i mean they're not like crazy base style bosses but none of them are replayable i mean you can only really refight the mantis and the brood mother that's it my point is when you completed the campaign or completed the story mode it really made you feel like it was over so why am i coming back kind of thing you know so it's just things like that it's 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 nothing cre and like i said this is just me spitballing ideas i kind of like to do some of these videos where i'm just kind of very blunt with you guys and i love grounded and i want to see it grow i want to see it continue and with the idea that they were doing that animated tv show and things like that like i knew that there was potential for this to continue and become maybe not to the height of like arc style where there's like a ton of people that are just like constantly hopping into these dedicated servers and things like that but maybe where like it's just in the conversation of like yeah that game because if not it's this things like small land things like maybe not Velheim. i think small land has a chance 
to kind of if it comes to console anytime soon uh that'll be its kind of big break because small land is going to go to playstation as well grounded's limited it doesn't have playstation it doesn't have that audience it just has xbox and pc players so these other games that are going to other consoles are going to be a bigger to uh, topic you know bigger bigger conversation piece and people are going to be like well what is grounded oh have you tried small and you explain it and they're going to go oh you mean like small land just saying that's the conversation we're gonna have anyway guys that's the video i didn't want to make this super long i kind of just wanted to give my thoughts of Valheim coming out i think it's gonna be a great game I'm super excited about playing it please leave in the comments below if you guys are gonna try it out and also leave in the comments below what you think of small land and your thoughts on that right there i'd love to know if you if you kind of think like oh well that's just another grounded i have no interest in that even if you don't have a pc to play it on right now like maybe you're waiting for the talk of it coming to console, which I feel like it's, I mean, we know it's coming to console. I feel like it's coming a little bit sooner than people think it is just because, I mean, Valheim said the same thing, but here they are coming out to console. So it's like, you know, I feel like people just, I feel like game developers, once they have that ability, they're like, okay, that's a good idea. Let's get it in there. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'd love to know if you guys end up liking this video at all. I know it wasn't like a big, like, whoa, but you guys like my opinion or, Maybe you didn't like my opinion, but you know, you like me as a person. Consider consider hitting that like button. It really does help with the algorithm. And consider subscribing to the channel. I'd love to have you as a member. I'd love to have you hang out with me when I go live again soon. Soon. Uh, I will be starting to do lives. They're gonna be super late lives, like middle of the night, like uh 10 a.m. Eastern time or 10 p.m. Eastern time. That's that's nighttime. 10 <laughs> 10 p.m. Eastern time till maybe 1 to 2 in the morning. Um, so if you guys would love to come in at late night uh, gameplay with me, that would be super fun. I'm going to start doing that again because I just kind of miss doing it. And that's how I want to do a lot of my playthroughs from here on out just because I hate recording playthroughs and then editing them and then loading them. I hate doing that. I'd rather do them live. Playthroughs live are way more fun. So if that is something you're interested in, consider subscribing to the channel. I'd love to have you. And as always, guys, I will gladly catch you in the next one. Peace out.